All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at the top seven structure mods in Subnautica. I the reason this list is a little bit shorter is because there were not that many like good looking structure mods that I could find on the Nexus website. I'm mainly looking for mods that add new structures. What was I about to say? New structures like Degasi bases, survivor bases, precursor bases, you know, things of that nature, and also stuff to the environment. With that being said, we're gonna head on to our first mod, which is gonna be coming in at number seven. The first mod we're gonna be looking at is going to be the abandoned tree cove based mod. Two which new is structures into your Subnautica game so we have the Degasi base that's found in the tree cove biome and then we have this little area up here it adds something to the crash zone it's like a little foundation that you, that you can go and explore as well gosh can't speak but this is the Degasi base so I kind of wanted to just show this one because this is the main highlight of this mod so we can see as a big old new Degasi base I'm pretty sure this is the Degasi base from the Grand Reef data box on the outside and we have this little cove tree right here almost like the people who were living here before were studying the cove tree they got a little sample off the tree and started growing their own right here. And then there's also that little beat up prawn suit down there, like they got attacked by something. That's cool as well. So let's head up here. Got some front. There's a bunch of fragments scattered around this, all this new stuff as well. Up here, there's a whole bunch of deposits. So we have the we have a lead deposit right here, titanium, magnetite. We have a silver deposit, quartz, and a ion cube deposit right here. Two little things of kyanite. And then we have the little precursor structure right there. All in all, pretty cool, pretty cool, and pretty simple in nature as well because it doesn't really add that much but it does add, you know, something. It was worth mentioning on this list. Oh, would you look at that? That's a neat little detail right down here. All right, so look at that. The foundation strictly, they don't like go straight randomly or anything like that. They strictly attach to these little plants right here all around this little spot. So that's a nice little, nice little attention to detail right there. I do like that very much. But yeah, this is the abandoned tree cove base mod, super cool mod, super cool and simple mod to start us off with coming in at number seven on this list. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. All right, so coming in at number six on our structures list we have the architects return precursor tomb mod so this mod adds a very very small structure honestly smaller than the last one they were just looking at small little precursor structure to the center sort of center of the grand reef biome but it's also on the sea charters path that runs through the grand reef so that's where you'll find this precursor tomb right here but you know it's exactly what it says it is it adds a nice little precursor tomb right here where obviously a precursor probably rests and is laid and buried and whatnot got a nice little terminal we can interact with here these lights light up whenever you go near them and then also the six ion cubes that are to the left and to the right of the tomb also look super cool on these little pedestals they light up when you go near them almost like they were you know like paying homage to the to the precursor that was buried here so super nice little detail right there um, you can also pick up these ion cubes as well but you know it may be a little disrespectful to the precursor who is resting here if you want to go by the lore well it's probably not even like the true lore but you know just the speculated lore that i have but you know if you want to take the ion cubes you can if not you can leave them there out of respect for the precursor it's entirely up to you super unique and nice little mod coming in at number six and with that we can head on to number five on today's list all right so coming in at number five on today's list we're going to have the architects return precursor lab which is gonna be found in the mountains biomes, but it's a little hidden away because it's in a secret, a little bit of a secret cave that you have to sort of dig around the mountains fountain, mountains fountain, <laughs> dig around the mountains biome to actually find. So once you find that cave, it'll lead you straight down here and you will see this big old box, which is going to be the lab, the precursor lab. So when we head down to this precursor lab, we can see directly to the left, what is that, a pathfinder tool? So down to the left, we have a purple tablet, PDA, and then we have two ion cubes to the left and right hand side. They come up on those little pedestals, super nice. And then we have this terminal right here and then we have the main like attraction of this entire lab is going to be this big old box right here so when we go inside of the box we can see there's a bunch of different plants in here we can see there's some grass sort of on the ground we have the ice stalk plants the tropical plants from the ocean from the ocean from the floating islands i think and then we have the grand reef bulb anchors gel sacks not sure what these are but the main thing i wanted to look at is going to be this sea emperor i don't know why i said it like that there is a sea emperor inside of this little Little, um this little area right here now what i think is most likely they were trying to oh look it's me over there <laughs> they were most likely experimenting on this sea emperor to try and find i don't know like try and find the cure to the what is it called in this game the car bacterium whatever whatever the disease is for this game you know they were probably experimenting on the sea emperor in here trying to you know figure out how to find a cure or procure a cure i don't know why i said that how to make a cure from the sea emperor because you know the sea emperors are the only ones who can actually generate a cure for that disease 
So that's probably what was going on in here. But yeah, this is the Architects Return Precursor Lab mod. And with that, we can head on to our next mod, which is actually gonna be another, another one of these Architect Returns mods. All right, coming in at number four, we have the Architects Return Aquarium mod. Now this one is gonna be a lot larger, We're getting into the bigger mods now. So this one adds an entirely new precursor base to the mountains biome. It's like smack dab right in the middle of the mountains biome. We can see the freaking Reaper Leviathan is just swimming around patrolling the area. But big old aquarium that you can enter and there's a bunch of stuff on the inside and I'm stuck. All right, so there's some invisible walls, just a little bit glitchy. There's some invisible walls around this precursor base. So do be mindful of that whenever you try to enter. All right, and the whole thing is underwater. So you can't really um, walk around like you would be able to in a regular precursor base. But you can see a lot of this stuff is empty. They probably abandoned all this stuff, all the research they were doing here. We got these empty tables over here containers probably used to contain some creatures in there and then we have the big old giant aquarium that is right in front of the like all these little boxes and stuff and inside we can see that there's the skull of a i forget what creature this is i don't know what creature this is but it is a leviathan i'm pretty sure it's a leviathan it's a skull of a giant leviathan yo reaper what you doing bro clip it through the wall watch out got all these different nice and luscious plants in here wow i can't see anything there aren't any fish in here though again likely because this place was abandoned and stuff so that's probably why there's not really any life in here aside from these plants there's no really there's no real fish in here that you would think would be inside of an aquarium except for that little hoop fish but he's just you know glitching around but yeah this is the architects returns precursor aquarium mod as an entirely new precursor base to your somatica game that you can come and explore and with that we can head on to our next mod all right so the next mod we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the deeper waters mod now i have covered this mod in the past but this mod recently got an update and it definitely deserves to be covered again. The Deeper Waters mod does a few new things to your Subnautica game, so it adds a bunch of new areas that you can come to the void and explore because there's a bunch of new biomes, different structures that you can come to the void and start looking at and whatnot. There's also a wreck over here in this specific part. Wreck also has some stuff all over it. Hello, sir. How's it going? There's a whole bunch of stuff in here we can take a look at. This looks awesome, man. So yeah, not only does the Deeper Waters mod add a bunch of new structures as far as like biomes and stuff goes, it also adds an entirely new structure in a literal sense because there's this new, you know, wreck structure that is now found in the void. I don't know why I thought that was wrong. That is not found in the void biome that you can come over to the void and explore. So there's a new structure in the void that you can come and explore as well as some new, you know, biome structures that you can come and explore as well. Deeper Waters mod, super awesome mod, and I really, really like this one. And with that, we can move on to our next mod on today's list. All right, so the next mod we have on today's list is gonna be coming in at number two, and it's gonna be the Rising Waters Turning Tides mod. All right, so if we head over to the underwater islands, we can see that there is a new structure down here as well. So the Rising Water Turning Tides mod adds, aside from just adding like a bunch of new like structural biomes, it also adds new precursor structures around the map as well. So we have one right here in the underwater islands. This is called the Precursor Mining Facility. Mining Facility, guys. I don't know what I said. And there are two other precursor structures that this mod adds into the game. We can actually walk around. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it because it is kind of a bigger facility. This big old area right here and then we can jump down into this big old pool and the aurora just exploded that's cool all right so this is the little mining facility that this precursor base leads to our precursor structure whatever same diff and we can see there's some warpers in here obviously because it's a precursor facility you can see there's a whole bunch of precursor lights and equipment all over the place we got the lights on the walls and we have these little things i'm guessing these are like giant drills or whatever and then this biome is also not biome but this um facility is loaded with freaking resource deposits all over the place we have a what is that? I think that's a diamond resource deposit, which isn't even in the base game for Subnautica. You're a knight deposit. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And it also looks super cool as well, because it's really really well lit in here oh you can squeeze through this little area there's a bunch of plants in here as well and a few creatures there's the warpers and i believe those are blood crawlers crawling around it's one of the one of the highlighted structures that i wanted to show from this mod because it's a really really good structure anyways that was the rising waters turning tides mod and with that we can head on to our last mod which is going to make the number one spot in my opinion now if i had to pick what my favorite mod was out of all of these mods on today's list it would probably be either the rising waters mod or the deep for waters but if i had to pick what i thought is the best mod in terms of adding structures and stuff into the game you know the number one spot 100 goes to the remnants of life mod because this mod just adds so so much amazing and detailed stuff into your game so so the area i'm in right now is actually called the void steps biome it's located like in the void as you would imagine it has a few things to it so we have this little ion cube deposit over here this little precursor structure right here we can see this little precursor structure line right here 
and there's also one to the left. There's a giant, I'm gonna turn the fog off so y'all can see. There's a massive precursor structure right here. I'm pretty sure this is the precursor structure from the lava zone. This is the thermal plant, I'm pretty sure. But it fits really well right here, especially with the way they've attached the tentacles to everything. Now, aside from this precursor facility, ooh, can't speak. Aside from this precursor facility and the void steps area right here that I just showed you, this mod also adds a bunch of other stuff into the game. All right, so this is one of the other new things that this mod adds to the game as far as structures go. So I'm, right now I'm in the blood kelp zone, as we can see, and we can see that there's a small little base right here. It's not exactly a Degasi base because it's not like super abandoned, but it is, you know, like destroyed as we can see. So this mod adds a bunch of new survivor bases, which are like small mini bases that you can find scattered all around the map. So this mod sort of gives us some more insight through structures and storytelling that way. It gives us some more insight on what actually happened to the survivors from the life pods. And there's, I believe there's four or three of these survivor bases around the map, aside from just this one. So aside from that, first massive precursor structure that I showed you. This mod also adds a, a few more precursor structures scattered around the map that you can actually come and explore as well. So we can see that here's one right here. It's, it's a little hidden away, you know, by all these rocks and stuff sort of blocking it. So you're gonna have to look a little bit harder for it, but it is in the Grand Reef. So let's head inside here. We head in here and we can see that there is a door right here and you will need a orange tablet to access this precursor facility. So there's a bunch of new precursor bases that you can find around the map. There's this one. There is one giant one in the dunes biome, I believe. And there's another one. Oh my gosh. Why are your eyes blue? You are terrifying, bro. But yeah, that is the Remnants of Life mod. It came in at number one for the top structures mod in Subnautica. In my opinion, at least, because it adds so much. It adds a bunch of new precursor bases to your Subnautica game. It adds some new void biome. Add some new void biomes, new precursor structures to your base, adds, and it also adds a bunch of new survivor bases that you can add, that you can add, that you can go around and explore. Yeah, it ended up at number one for our top structures mod in Subnautica. If you have any other mod, you know, like sort of like mod themes that I should do in the future for like a top mods video, maybe I can do like, I don't know, like a top 10 creatures mod or something, then, you know, just feel free to let me know in the comments below. But other than that, that is about all I had for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.